Hello YouTube viewers, this is Collector513 again with a collection video. This one is of my horror collection. It is the biggest collection I have. I have almost a thousand horror movies, I think, are either around a thousand, close to a thousand. I have a lot of horror movies. It is my biggest collection overall out of everything I own. My horror collection of movies. I have VHS, DVD, um, Blu-ray, and 4K. Tons and tons of movies. I've been collecting horror movies since 2002. So I got about 20-something years on collecting. That's why the collection is massive. I have them all on this shelf, this shelf, this shelf, and three other shelves in my back room. So, I'm going to start from this shelf here. I have them all turned to the side so it's easier for me to pull them out. Because I do not want to go through pulling all these out and sending them around my home to make a video. That's what it would result in because I have a lot. I have too many. Let's get started, guys. I don't want to talk forever. Clown. These are the Anchor Bay DVD slipcover whores, by the way. These are Anchor Bay Dark Skies. It's probably hard to see due to the light right here. I have one. I spit on your grave. It's not Anchor Bay, but it is part of all the other I Spit on Your Grave films I have. I Spit on Your Grave, the remake. As I said, these are all Anchor Bay slipper cover DVDs. I just put in a grape too. I spit on your grape three. This is a boo uh a cheese ball movie. I'll kill you, I'll bury you, I'll spit on your grave too. So you can see what it looks like. It's something that was made in someone's backyard. <laughs> so upset about that. Having a little trouble getting that back in. Let me in. Mother's Day. Hand drum. The crazies. Okay, we're done with Anchor Bay horror movies. Slow cover DVDs. And now we're moving on to Columbia Tristar. Slow cover of uh, all DVDs. 30 Days of Night. Bram Stoker's Dracula. American Psycho. American Psycho 2. Cooties. Now we're moving on to Lion's Gate. Horror movies, Lionsgate. My Bloody Valentine 3D. Has a lenticular case to it. Saw 1. These are all slip covered. The slip covers actually go with the case. It is really cool. Saw 2. I wish I had four arms to show you guys. I'll pull the cases up and show you all. Saw 3. That's why I prefer to get slipper covers with movies. Saw 4. I'm a slipper cover freak. Saw 5. Now the rest of these on 4K and Blu-ray. The Eye. 
Okay. Oh, we're still, we're still in Lionsgate. The Haunting in Connecticut. The Last Exorcism. And yes, I've seen all of these. Every single last one of these I've seen. You're next. Intruders. Okay. Now we're starting... Uh, what's, what company is this? Screen Gems. Screen Gems and Sony. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Underworld. This is a really cool slip cover too that goes with the case. Underworld Evolution. Underworld Rise of the Lycans. These are action horror. I'm going to show comedy horror, parody, family horror, CGI horror, The Messengers. Martyrs. Okay, now we're on the uh, Universal. Universal. DVD. Horror movies. An American Werewolf in London. An American Werewolf in Paris. As above, so below. Coraline. The movie brings back so many memories. It was one of my son's mother's favorite movies ever. Hold on, guys. This case is turned. There we go. Jaws. As you can see, it's a book. There's a book and everything with that. Jaws 2. Jaws 3. Jaws 4. My soul to take. Pitch black. More of a science fiction horror. The Grand Inferno. Skeleton Key. I need the other movies of this. There are a few other Skeleton Keys that came out. I do not have them. Oh, please don't fall up, please. Unfriended. This was really good. I watched this a few times, actually. Really good movie. Van Helsing. Some more of an action horror as well, but there are horrific creatures all in the movie. So it's considered a horror in my book. White Noise. I do need White Noise too. From Hell. Lenticular Case. Hide and Seek. Trying to take these out easily so they don't follow the omen. I refuse to buy be, I refuse to buy the original ones because I heard the curse. I'm very superstitious. I just don't want those in my collection due to that. Grave encounters. 
Yeah, I, got, I mean, I could have been got the Omen Collection. I mean, I could have been got it. But, uh, you know, I don't want it. Lovely Molly. So, Lenticular. There we go. Lenticular case. Oh, my goodness. This is so good, man. Oh, the cleansing hour. I watched this movie a thousand times. It's so good. So good. The cleansing hour. That's a good movie. Very good movie. Hold on, guys. Oh, my goodness. Julia. There we go. All right, I have one movie on. Those are all, well, there were just other companies, as you can see. Okay, this is the only horror I have on the shelf. I did do research on it. It is, an, it is, it is considered a horror movie. Salo, or The 120 Days of Sodom. Sodom. Still sealed. Okay. All right. This is going to be tough trying to. Oh, man. This is low. It's getting pretty low. Okay. Ghost Story. Oh, man. Okay. Dracula. I wish I could show you guys. These are leather. Cases are really cool. Wish I could show you guys inside the cases. Frankenstein. The Mummy. Oh my goodness, this case came open. Oh my lord. The Wolfman. <laughs> it's open. I tell you, I gotta fix that. I gotta, I gotta fix that. Hatchet. And about this, I mean, it came with the box and everything. There's just the key is missing. The keychain. Hatchet two. These are going into my snap cases. Tells from the hood. These are going into a snap case horror movies. Campfire Tales. This was very expensive for some reason. For some reason at the time I was looking for that, it was pretty pricey. Blade 1. Blade 2. Blade Trinity. Bones. Okay, we're going down deeper. These are my WB horror movies. Rest Stop. Rest stop, don't look back. The Reaping. It's a holographic case. Oh man, these snub cases are going to be very. Oh, these are all still up, you be. Beetlejuice. That's more of a family horror movie. There's still scary things in it, scary elements. They consider a whore. Deep Blue Sea. I do not have the other one. The Devil's Advocate. Now, I am. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Spiders are scary, they are horrific. 
to a lot of people. <laughs> you like it, freaks? I wouldn't consider that an actual. I don't know. I might consider it horror, but spiders are scary. And those things are massive. Fear.com. Little Shop of Horrors. Oh man, I was doing good. Queen of the Damned. I was doing good. Not having these fall. I was trying my hardest. Okay. Okay, I apologize if the angle becomes weird or I drop the phone. I'm very, very, very sorry. I don't, I don't have an editor to edit out that stuff. I'm sorry, guys. This is really low. It's going to be hard to get movies out of here. The Lost Boys. The Lost Boys 2. This movie was not as good as the original. This is a Lynn Tickler case, as you can see. Lost Boys 3. The Thirst. Thirteen Ghosts. It's so crazy. I saw this movie as a kid. <laughs> Then, oh, next thing you know, there's a full naked ghost female on there. Oh, my God. Valentine. I had to close my eyes. I was watching them with my mom and dad. I had to close my eyes when that part came up. Annabelle Creation. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. I have all of these, the entire Conjuring universe, on uh, Blu-ray. My sister had bought this for me for my birthday. So, yeah. Chernobyl Diaries. I really like that. So, I bought some Blu ray as well. One thing about me, I mean, I would have way over a thousand, probably close to 2,000 horror movies if I upgraded all my movies. But I don't. I don't worry about upgrading. There's certain ones I'll buy on Blu ray with a slip cover if I see it. Dark Shadows. Dr. Giggles. Anybody remember that? <laughs> Man, he made people scared to go to freaking Dennis. <laughs> and he was something else. Gremlins. This is more of a comedy family whore in a way. They're so horrific creatures. If you've seen a gremlin in real life, you would have a heart attack. <laughs> so yeah, they're horror. Gremlins 2, the new uh the new batch. House of Wax. I do need the original. I need the original. Bad to the collection. I would like to see it. How it's on Haunted Hill. This was super good. I love this movie. How it's on Haunted Hill too. One missed call. Orphan. Poltergeist 2 and 3. Where in the world is my Poltergeist 1? Where is... <sighs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There it is. There it is. It's out of water. Oh my goodness. Poltergeist 1. Rest in peace to most of the crew. Hold on, I gotta switch hands.
Okay. The bad seed. And last but not least on this shelf. Sorry guys, the gallows. Alright. Now I'm going to show you that I have on this shelf. I had I was able to take them down. Uh box sets, horror box sets. I'd individually count those as individual movies because those box sets have uh multiple movies in them. So let me show you guys the box sets that I have on this shelf. Okay. These box sets, uh, excuse me, these box sets are in alphabetical order, by the way. <clears throat> the Ringu Anthology of Horror. This includes four films that were uh, then inspired the Ring. Here's the four films Ringu Raisin, Ringu 2, Ringu 0. There you go. All right. Scream. The Ultimate Scream Collection. And includes Scream, Scream 2, Scream 3, and an exclusive DVD. There's all the Scream movies right there. These are for people who collect collector's editions, box sets, so they know what comes with them. Survival Kit. Uh, Slipboy Camp. Survival kit. This includes an exclusive DVD, uh, for the bonus DVD, a subway camp for Fiverr. It's just production footage because the movie was never released. Here's all the movies that comes with, and there's production DVD. Okay, The Exorcist. The complete anthology. All of the Exorcist films. The Exorcist, The Exorcist Heretic, The Exorcist 3, and The Exorcist The Beginning, Dominion prequel to The Exorcist. So it has all of those movies on this anthology set. Here we go. Alright. Last but not least, I do consider this horror because these, some of these shows are a bit creepy. The Twilight Zone. I don't know how to count this. I guess count it uh, as one, two, three, four, five, you know, five movie, uh, five cases. I don't know, but. Well, yeah, it has the entire, as you, the entire, and it has so many discs. Oh my God, huh? I've watched it, and it tells you about all the episodes. The Twilight Zone. It is the complete definitive collection. 28 DVD set. has everything. It's season 1, season 2, season 3, season 4, season 5. I don't know why my car camera more light needed for Super City. I had to change the settings on this, but you guys should be able to see the reading. I don't know. I messed with the camera last night. I, yeah, I shouldn't have did that. Anyways, these are all my... Uh, on my whoa, well, my first shelf. I will do a part two, um, of my second and third shelf, um, uh, because my third shelf is an actual, actual horse shelf. It's an actual horse shelf. Um, as you can see, I got oh my god, <laughs> of a lot. I mean, these are horse, all of them, every last one of them. So, uh, man, it's gonna, wow, it's gonna take. 
it got off a long time to get through all of these. And then when I'm done with these, I still got three other shows back there. The Blu-rays, 4Ks, the shows. I have a lot to get through. I have a lot. I have horror shows. All the seasons. Tales on the Crypt. Tales on the Dark Side. Afraid of the Dark. <laughs> Are you afraid of the Dark? Um, the Walking Dead. Fear of the Walking Dead. True Blood. Daxer. <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot, a lot of stuff. So, um, wow. Um, I would admit, definitely make different parts of these. I don't want to smash everything into one video. It's going to be a while. No one can sit there and watch a 40 to 50 minute video, hour long video. So I'm going to do you guys a favor and just split these up in parts. All right, Collector 513, I will see you all in the next one. Adiós.